Good morning guys, welcome to today. It's Monday after a busy weekend. I just got back from the barn and I just got a package in the mail and I'll show you what it is. We use fence posts, T posts to mark off our area and I've been buying T post clips for the um, the wiring, the electric wiring. But I found um, a different type of clip and it works for T posts no matter what way the T-post is working. Like we have an old farm, so along the outer side of the fence, the T-posts aren't facing the right direction. I found this company online, and I think they only sell these online. These are called Lock Jaws, and they're T-posts. And they're made for different types of wire. Like barbed wire, poly wire. You know, aluminum steel, aluminum steel, poly, thicker poly, barbed wire. And they're really, really easy to use. And here's why I like them. And here's why I'm going to try them. They're 360 mounting. So, you know, normal T post should be like this when you hook up the wire. Sometimes they end up like this and you can't do nothing with it. Can't do nothing with those. These are backwards. So when you're trying to put these, these other yellow T-posts, I'll show you the other yellow ones later, but you can't, they're not that great. Horses are out already eating them grass. I actually put hay out there for them. I'm going to get a couple of buckets that they can eat out of instead because I could maybe make a box out of skids and stuff. I've seen people do that. Or make a box with wood. Um, but they just leave it on the grass and then it gets all bad and crappy. So I'm going to get some buckets for them to eat. Tina was out there eating. Penny Penny didn't want nothing to do with that hay. She would have ran the grass. and There's no nutrients in the grass right now. Tina's looking at me right now. Hi, right, buddy. You all right? You okay? Anyway, so here's one of my T posts. <clears throat> Try not to touch it. Uh, the top is bent. I bought these T post guards, and they're pretty handy because you can put the string on it, and this one, the top is bent, so it doesn't sit right. But this is important to have if you can put them on your T-posts just in case the horse jumps up or it, what if you're walking around with your horse and you fall off. You don't want to land on a sharp T-post. So I tried to put these on if they went on as much as the T-posts that I can. And I bought a bunch of them. But a lot of my T-posts, like there's a couple there that, and there's a couple there. You can see where they're not white. I couldn't put them on because they wouldn't sit the the uh, T post is bent. So here's an old hanger that I bought, and they normally clip around here. And this one is sometimes they don't fit. Like there, that one fits. I went and bought these ones, and these are really good. You slide them on, and you tighten them in the back, and they stay in position. Things like that. This is the new clip that I bought. And this is supposed to be able to do it in 360 direction. So even if I were to clip it on this way, so the T-post was bent in a different direction. Well, anyways, you can put this T-post the right way, no matter. So if I was going to put a fencing that way, I can put, hook it on like that. Yeah, now I can't get it off. I have to get a screwdriver. How do you get a screwdriver? You have to do this. Try and do it with one hand, can't do it. Anyways, there's a lever there. Very usable. I'll take it off and show you a different direction without the camera. <laughs> All right, take two, I took it off. Kind of hard, there's these little clips here that, these little things that you hold that unclip it, kind of. But anyways, they go different ways. So the wire goes in there and it just sits in there. The wire just sits in there. So if I was gonna use this, 
unfortunately this wire is electrified right now. I don't want to touch it. I hate touching it. It would just sit in there like that. The whole point of this is that this would always sit like this, no matter what way your post was. It would just clip in and see there's a little gap there that would hold the, the post there good and snug. And if it was that way, if it was crooked, you can pretty much do it any way. Like even if it was crooked, it would clip on. So this clips on 360 degrees. I, I think I'm gonna love these. The only problem is I don't like mixing and matching. So either I change all these. Anyways, that's what I bought. I bought it on Amazon. If you're interested in these, I'll just put a link in the description, like an Amazon link where I got them from. Not very many places carry them. I don't know if you have them in the US, but in Canada, they're hard to get. No stores around carry them. So I will post a link on Amazon that I had and and I bought a whole bunch of them. I think I bought like 500 of these. And I'm probably gonna use three. <laughs> but anyways, I thought it'd be better be safe than sorry because my next fence, if I put one up somewhere, like I'm planning to do, we're, I'm planning to get the other side done. Uh, I was hoping to get it done by the winter, but obviously that's not happening. So by next summer, I'll have it all leveled out on the other side and I'll be building paddocks there. And I'm gonna use these and uh, I'm gonna use wood posts too, but I'm only gonna use wood posts uh, ma mainly for the corners and maybe every so, maybe 10 feet, 20 feet and in between I'll use a steel post. Anyways, these are, in, these are awesome. They're called lock jaws. Give them a try if you want to, if you need to. They're the best. Hi guys, I took you along to get some hay. And I'm um, here at the hay barn. That's where all my hay is. Lots of hay this year. Anyways, I uh, buy hay every year and I roughly need around 500, 600 bales. I already went through 100 of my own and I might need more this year because we have Gino home. And usually I don't, like that's 400, 500 bales without Gino. With Gino, I don't know what I need. So, but anyways, I buy my hay here and we have lots of it here that's stored for me. So I have to come every week or two weeks to come get it. It's easier for me to come get it every week or two weeks rather than me have the whole load and spend the whole day piling it up and stuff. I like coming and getting it when I want. So, so this is my pile that I'm going to get today. I or picking up 24 of them at least. And I uh, have a smaller truck now. So, yeah. I'll see how that works. Uh, 24 bales. I can get 12 in here pretty easily. There's half my load there and there's half my load there. So I got 12 on at least. And we'll be good for a couple weeks. Load number two. And last load for today. Hey guys, good at market morning and welcome to today's video. Today is already noon. I've already been loading up the hay. And today we're headed to the other barn to see Storm. I'm just cleaning up the arena poop before we go cleaning up my paddock poop I like to keep up on it until like the f snow comes so that there's not so much in the spring but look at this like they all just fit in perfectly three little ponies all we need is one more horse for that paddock so we have three and three but they look like they're losing a little bit of weight too we've been like trying to uh, she's still pretty thick but she looks good and then Willow you're chunky but she still looks a well all right she's still chunky and then the baby looks like she's growing taller and just changing shape she still looks a bit chubby she doesn't look chubby I think the baby looks good to be honest she's like don't come near my food hello little kitty so we're at the barn because we're gonna change stormy's blanket 
the barn changes his blanket but they have their own blankets and he has his own blankets and we always want him to like how rude sorry i just locked sophie in uh, we always want him to like have his own blanket and feel like he's still owned by us even though he lives here now like i like to just do it ourselves so we come whenever it's time to change blanket blankets right now he just has on like a like a rain sheet and there's his winter one up there the blue one and then this is his insulated rain sheet so so we're gonna put this one on him and make him nice and warm and cozy but hello mr man we brought a fresh warmer blanket for you what do you think hey whoa I'm making gabby change it <laughs> but i brought you treats to keep you here <laughs> Hello, big guy. Yeah, he's happy. Like one thing about Storm, no matter where he goes, he's always like the boss. Storm, Storm come to the gate. Let me change your blanket and make you nice and warm. <laughs> Don't wipe it on me. I'm like always the one that gets wiped on. All right. Hello, Tommy. There's another horse heading this way and his blanket is all ripped to shreds. I'm just glad it's not storm this year. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Mud, don't wipe it on me. Right here, Stormy Boy. Last of the treats. And no, then I'm gonna I have come a in. More. Oh, good. All right. I was like, grab as much as you can. You, but you deserve a lot of treats. Echo. Oh. I change that. I take it back. His blanket is ripped. <laughs> Good thing we brought you a new one. Well, it's not that bad. No, it's not that bad, but still. He's looking chunky. You're looking chunky. That's good. All right, we're going to change his blanket, and then we're going to come back in. We're going to come in there and change your blanket, okay? And then we're going to go home. Hello. Yeah, we love you. We love you. Three more treats. Three more treats. There's two in all right, so we I'm gonna put the camera away because we're going in and we don't have the proper foot shoe, footwear on. Big surprise! And we're gonna have to like be focusing on staying okay, keeping our feet staying staying without sinking. You guys know how Sam crashed Gabby's car the other day. Well, the day before he crashed Gabby's car, he and Gabby changed my tires and put my winter tires on. So then when I went to drive my car, he said, oh, you can't drive your car. One of the tires was flat. So he has to take it in. He's going to take it in tomorrow and get it fixed. So technically, we have three cars, but these two are both toast right now. Like, we can only drive the truck. It is so annoying. It's like the year that Laura is meant to not drive and not have a car. I swear God is telling us, like, don't go places. Elizabeth's birthday is coming up on Thursday, and I'm going to show you what I got her. So first, I got her this um grooming bag with all the brushes yeah you guys can see in there but it has like a sweat scraper and it has a whole bunch of brushes in there and they're navy this is the bag that i got as well sophie does all her own shopping in here five hours yeah it fits yeah it's fun to take five hours to do it gabby Okay, I got her her favorite thing, which is mints. I got her some gummy bears. This is the best kind. And then I got her sour punch bites. And this is the card that I got her. It says, for your birthday, how does a brand new car sound? Vroom vroom, that's how it sounds. <laughs> <gasps> and then tissue paper to make it all yeah. fancy we were at the royal they had gift bags made up like that like grooming gift bags and they were so nice they had pink and red and navy and i forget what other col colors but they had like some and cute black. colors yeah and black so if you got navy blue like if you're gonna buy pack buy beautiful colors anyway that is it our vlog might be a little bit short today we just spent a lot of time running around and getting a bunch of shopping done that we needed to get done we're doing some fun things this month really fun things so um we'll see you guys back again tomorrow don't you know that you're beautiful